An adorable baby koala was freezing to death. Temperatures at night can get very low in the harsh Australian outback. And the poor little guy could have died without help. But the koala's rescuer is the real surprise. Because every now and then, nature needs a little help from one of humanity's favorite animal friends. There are few creatures quite as cuddly and lovably as koalas. Something about their big round noses and chubby faces just makes them a joy to behold. Unfortunately, though, in a country like Australia, koalas often run into danger. Not only do they have to contend with man-made obstacles like cars, but even the natural environment is out to get them. Such was the case for one baby koala who recently ran into trouble. Abandoned and alone, the poor little thing would have frozen to death, were it not for a friendly rescuer. Carrie McKinnon from Strathdowney in Western Victoria recently witnessed an unexpected scene when a tiny baby koala appeared in the early hours of the morning. The surprising thing was where it was hiding. The McKinnons have a pair of lovely golden retrievers. These dogs have big, thick fur which helps them to tolerate the cool conditions that come at night in Victoria. One morning, the McKinnons spotted an unexpected sight. When her husband called her to look out the window, Carrie didn't spot what was interesting at first. Then, she saw what was sat on top of one of the dogs. There, on top of the dog's head, was a tiny baby koala. This poor little guy was very small, and his short fur meant that he really wasn't equipped to bear the cold nighttime temperatures alone. The dog was clearly intrigued by the small new house guest, but wasn't trying to shake him off. This tiny koala was very welcome to share a little body here and stay warm, snuggled up in the golden retriever's fur. The dog definitely saved the poor koala's life. He was too small and weak to be without his mother, and even if the temperature didn't kill him, another wild animal, like a fox, could well have finished the job. The koala has since been taken to the vet and passed on to a sanctuary. The plan is to eventually return him to the wild. But he's not the only koala that's needed rescuing in the past few years. This very dapper koala had the misfortune to be hit by two different cars on the road. Thankfully, the snappy dresser was successfully rescued and recovered just fine. Another koala who needed a little help managed to get their head stuck in a metal fence. Eventually, some kind humans were able to help, but this isn't even the most embarrassing part of the story. This was actually the third time that the koala had managed to get wedged in this particular fence. It does seem a shame that this man-made structure has clearly made life so difficult for such an adorable animal. These kinds of adventures are a daily occurrence for staff at Koala Rescue Queensland. There's always an adorable marsupial to get out of trouble. Sometimes, a koala will end up in the wrong tree, and for its own safety, the rescue team will have to move it out of harm's way. For all that Australia is full of deadly wildlife, nobody makes more trouble for the locals than humans. Thankfully, while humans are constantly getting in the way of koala fun, rescue teams are on hand to do the heavy lifting needed to get these creatures to safety. Even if getting them into transport cages can be a bit of a challenge. Returning a koala to the wild can be a challenge, depending on how long it's been in captivity. If it's only had a few days of human treatment, it'll adjust without challenge, but in the case of the McKinnon's visitor, the process might be more difficult. This particular koala seems a little hesitant about returning to the wild. Several experts are on hand to make sure the transition is as smooth as possible. Thankfully, instinct takes over eventually. If there's one thing koalas know, it's how to climb. Koalas are going to keep running afoul of both natural and man-made dangers across Australia. It's good to know that there are people and dogs who are happy to look out for their well-being. If you enjoyed this story, wait for our next story starting in 10 seconds. Not all social media influencers are equal, of course. These days, Pumpkin the Pitbull Instagram star is a particularly photogenic character with a growing legion of fans. And deservedly so. After all, it's hard to ignore a face as cute as his. But things were not always this way for Pumpkin. She actually had a very troublesome start to her life. In fact, she almost didn't make it to adulthood at all. This is the story of how one kind family took in Pumpkin and gave her a home. They then discovered the particular talent that makes this dog such a fantastic Instagram sensation. Pumpkin the Pitbull is a gorgeous dog. She's incredibly photogenic, and her time in front of the camera has quickly won her a sizable Instagram audience of dog lovers who enjoy seeing what she gets up to. Pumpkin's owners, Alicia and Trey Mathis, already had one dog when this adorable Pitbull entered their lives. 
but Pumpkin has become an important part of the family since her arrival in October 2017. This gorgeous pup may look majestic now, but when she first arrived with the Mathis family, she looked very different. For a while, it was unclear as to whether she'd managed to live very long at all. On one cold fall night, a tiny pit bull pup wandered out of an alley and into the yard of a local family in Grant Circle in Petworth. The family's children spotted the dog first, and their parents recognized that this tiny little animal was in desperate need of care. While Pumpkin's rescuers weren't able to keep the puppy, they reached out to local pet groups to see if she could find a home. This brought her to the Mathis family, who wanted to do everything they could to help. The Mathises were surprised at just how tiny Pumpkin was. She was no bigger than a rat. They'd never seen a dog so small. That night was very long. The Mathises made Pumpkin a small bed, but she had a bout of diarrhea that covered everything. She was so malnourished that her body was struggling to accept any food at all. All that could be done was provide her with care and hope for the best. Even the Mathis resident boxer, Layla, could tell that this puppy was in need of special care. To her credit, she did her best to welcome the new arrival and help her to grow stronger. The family took the tiny puppy to a vet, who said that she was very lucky to be alive. At just five weeks old, Pumpkin was far too young to be separated from her mother, and would have died if not for the Mathis care. Further proof of the pup's condition was her pear-shaped, bloated belly. This showed just how malnourished she had become, but it also served as the basis for her name. The dog was round and orange, so why not name her Pumpkin? As Pumpkin grew older, she began to put on weight. She was treated for parasites, and given a fighting chance at life at last. It was then that her owners began to notice just how special she was. Now that she wasn't quite so flea-bitten and sick, Pumpkin was absolutely gorgeous. Her rich coloring and fine features made her very photogenic, even when asleep. Pumpkin also clearly has a playful side. It's hard to tell how much Layla is enjoying this attention, but in spite of this, the two dogs get on just fine together. By now, Pumpkin was a full-fledged member of the family. Her humans continued to care for her, and they began taking pictures at every available opportunity. Pumpkin was just so photogenic. It didn't take long for her pictures on Instagram to start winning their own following. Who could possibly deny the sheer majesty of this dog's beautiful face? Alicia Mathis insists that Pumpkin isn't Instagram famous just yet, but her following has continued to grow, which can only be a good thing for the much maligned pit bull family. Pit bulls aren't a specific breed, but rather a category of dogs that include many terrier breeds. Sadly, these dogs often have a reputation as bully breeds that is simply not true, but has disastrous consequences. Due to the stereotype that suggests pit bulls are nasty, aggressive dogs, many of these lovely pets are mistreated and looked down upon. In reality, a dog's temper is more a product of the way it's raised than its specific breed. Because of their reputation, pit bulls are the most common types of dogs in American animal shelters. Few want them, and more than 40% of all dogs euthanized in the US are pit bulls. In spite of this, pit bulls can be loving, kind and affectionate. Pumpkin shows just how well behaved a pit bull can be when cared for by humans who treat them well. With any luck, Pumpkin's growing popularity will help to re-educate many potential dog owners about the merits of pit bulls. These dogs can be absolutely lovely when treated properly and trained to behave themselves. Pumpkin has managed to overcome the majority of her childhood illnesses and trauma. She still sometimes needs medical attention, as do all dogs and humans, but she's currently very healthy and happy. Alicia Mathis hopes that Pumpkin will be the ambassador of well-trained dogs, and that she'll help others to rethink their prejudices. Considering that simply being labeled a pit bull is enough to harm a dog's adoption chances, they need all the good publicity they can get. Of course, there are challenges to living with any animal, human or otherwise. The Mathis family have learned about Pumpkin's one big personality flaw, her love of using shoes as chew toys. Even good pups have mischievous moments at times. While Pumpkin doesn't seem too thrilled to recreate scenes from famous James Cameron movies with her humans, she's a very good dog nonetheless. Her story proves that while anyone's start to life can be rocky, all we need to do is find the right people to help us grow.